For the ClF4 minus Lewis structure, let's add up the valence electrons first. For chlorine, we have seven plus seven for fluorine, but we have four of those fluorines. And this negative one up here, that means we have an extra valence electron. So we'll add one more here. Seven plus 28 plus one equals 36 total valence electrons for the ClF4 minus Lewis structure. We'll put the chlorine atom at the center. It's the least electronegative and then we'll put fluorines around it. Next, we'll put a pair of electrons between the chlorine and the fluorine atoms to complete the chemical bonds. We've used eight valence electrons. That means we have 28 more. Let's put those around the fluorine atoms and see if we can complete their octets. We've now used 32 valence electrons, and the octets are complete on all atoms. We're not quite done, though, because we have 36 valence electrons that we need to use for the ClF4 minus Lewis structure. Chlorine can have what we call an expanded octet. That means it can have more than eight valence electrons. It's an exception to the octet rule. Because of this, we can add more valence electrons to the chlorine. We have four valence electrons we need to put somewhere, so we can put them right on that chlorine atom. We'll put two here and two here, and then we'll tilt them so it looks like they're actually around that chlorine. At this point, all of the fluorine atoms have eight valence electrons. Their octets are full and fluorine must obey the octet rule. Chlorine, it is an exception and it can have more than eight, and it does. It has 12 valence electrons. So this is the Lewis structure for ClF4 minus. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.